Well, what's going on, Blues Nation? Well, disappointing loss tonight. Come up short, losing this one 4-2 to two to the Utah Hockey Club. First time ever facing Utah under that name, of course. Of course, formerly the Arizona Coyotes. And, yeah, 4-2 to two the final. We tied it up uh, with uh, about... Seven minutes left in the third period, but then Utah t- took the lead. Uh, a late goal with uh, less less than four minutes remaining, and we could not come back after that. So a disappointing loss. Uh, also, Dylan Holloway, who of course had that scary moment on Tuesday night when he was struck in the neck by a puck, uh, and. He is back just two days after, you know, 48 hours since suffering that scary moment. Yeah, he played in this game, uh, so it was not a, not too serious of an injury. And uh, he blocked two shots uh, in uh, 23 shifts in this one. So, yeah, just great to see him back out there after that scary, scary moment on Tuesday night. So anyway, just 18 seconds into the game, Utah would take a 1-0 lead. Goal scored by uh, defenseman number 7, Michael Kesselring. Uh, His third of the season, assist by Nick Schmaltz and the St. Louis native Clayton Keller. So that would make it 1-0 Utah Hockey Club. Then, late in the first period, the 1840 mark, Colton Pareko with his fourth goal of the season to tie it up 1-1. The assist by Pavel Buchnevich and Jake Napers. Uh, and yes, yeah, so that would tie it up 1-1 after uh, 20 minutes of play. So Pareko already has four goals this season. Uh, last year, Pareko had a career high tying 10 goals. He's had 10 goals uh, three times uh, in his career. Pareko currently the longest tenured blue. So, anyway, uh, and then late in the second period at the 1809 mark, Utah will go up 2-1, to one, goal scored by Matias Michelli. Uh, his third of the year, that will make it 2-1 to one, Utah after 40 minutes of play. So heading into the third period, down just one. And then at the 1329 mark, the Blues were tied up 2 2 thanks to Jordan Cairo with his fifth of the season. The assist by Bushnavid showed his second assist of the game. So that would tie it up, hoping to perhaps get another goal to go on top or send it to overtime. However, at the 1639 mark, an unassisted goal by uh, Dylan Gunther of Utah, his seventh of the year already, he's been off to a hot start. Uh, so that would make it a 3-2 to two lead for Utah. Uh, and Dylan Gunther, who had five goals in the first three games of the season, uh, but now has had just two goals since then. So, yeah, I got off to a lightning hot start. So, then with four seconds left, an empty net goal to seal it, uh, to make it 4-2 to two Utah. So, but yeah, so disappointing loss. Joel Hofer got the starting enactment this time for the Blues. 27 saves uh, in his first appearance in a, over, over a week uh, when he started. Uh, last Tuesday, gave up uh, five goals before being benched. And that 8-1 loss to Ottawa. So, anyway, uh, also a uh, game misconduct penalty for P.O. Joseph in that second period was involved in a fight and was then charged with a uh, a, a game misconduct. So that would be it for him. So, and yeah, so. Anyway, we'll be back in action Saturday night 
The Washington Capitals come to town, led by Alex Ovechkin, who is chasing Wayne Gretzky for the all-time goal goal scorer. So, till then, Conor Express saying, go Blues.